I'm just kidding. I am not about to sit here and do this whole entire video with ASMR. I know everyone would click immediately off. But hello, everybody. How are you? I hope you are all doing amazing. Hope you had a great weekend. It has been raining for literally the past 48 hours here in Florida. So I've been loving every single minute of it. What am I doing with my hand? Like, why am I holding my hand up like this? Like, what? <laughs> what is f***ing happening? So the first thing that I want to talk about is this video that I saw of Nicole Concilio. No, she is not involved in any drama. I know she is just so nice. She does not get involved in any drama she keeps to herself she came up on my tiktok feed the other day and she was reviewing i guess kvd beauty like reached out to her and wanted her to be like one of the first people to review this new like blush like thing i don't know exactly what the, the product is called because i'm just looking at it right here on my phone and my question about this is one do y'all still with kvd beauty now that kat von d is like completely out of it and she's over there like finding jesus but the reason that i saved this video was actually because i wanted to get everyone's opinion about the packaging on this is this not giving you like dollar tree or drugstore type of packaging i don't know how much this little blush thing is going to be but i looked over on sephora and they have a foundation that's in this exact same freaking component and it's 42 dollars 42 dollars for some cheap ass plastic like that product must be like a holy grail and people must love it and swear by it to be like okay the packaging can be like this for 42 dollars do any of you guys use the foundation that comes in this product like can you say if that foundation is worth having this cheap as packaging and a 42 dollar price tag it just it just it just looks cheap to me like it doesn't it's not exciting it looks basic it kind of looks like what you would put like testers in and then just like send them out to people like if you're trying to get like their opinion about a new product these are the good apple blushes i don't know how much these are they did not have these on sephora maybe they're out of stock they didn't pull up for me but it's giving it's giving like claire's makeup i'm not gonna lie so the next thing that i want to talk about is these apple vision pros that have literally taken the internet by storm because there are a lot of people that are making some very dangerous content in my opinion like i'm talking about riding the subway in new york city walking around new york city walking around san francisco with this massive expensive thing on their face with a cord that comes down that you have to plug into a battery pack i mean i saw that jeffree star uploaded a tiktok saying that he was the first person in wyoming to actually have the apple vision pro i'm not exactly sure if that's like some kind of like bragging rights like if people are like oh wow we're envious oh my god he has a you guys the camels do not know what to think about the apple vision pro hi so what do you think frosty is the future here give us your give us your review he's not sure hi Fendi. what do we think y'all hmm what do we think the camels are not sure what's going on right now. We're not on Pluto, you guys. We're in Wyoming. We are officially in the future. This is amazing technology. Bitch, I am shook. Let's go out into the pasture and see what the camels think. They're not sure. At first, I was like, do they even recognize me? What does mama have on her head, huh? The future. This may be not for every rancher, but this is amazing. While I'm feeding the camels, I can literally do my emails. I can respond to text messages hands-free. Oh my God. I think the new Apple Vision Pro is camel approved. Yeah, just schedule the meeting. Thank you so much. We're officially in the future. Let's go to the Jeffree Star store. No soliciting. No soliciting. Like that looks like a paperweight to me. That looks like I would use it maybe once. Like we've had like the meta thing. And I think what was the other one? The Oculus. And we used it for maybe like a few weeks doing the Beat Saber, but then that thing became a an expensive paperweight, let me tell you. All I know is I don't want to hear nothing from the people that are wearing these around in public if they get mugged. Or if they get robbed. It's like you are literally a billboard like there is a bright light on you saying hey come take this from me because let's be honest there are a lot of people out there that cannot focus on doing more than one thing at once so they're going to be like in this thing trying to send a text message to someone supposed to be looking around them at their surroundings and boop that's when they got got that's when they got got it's not going to be me i also don't want to drop 3500 4500 however much this is to put this thing on my head especially like first generation like come on do we not remember like the first generation of iPhones, like the problems that they had and all of that? That thing is gonna catch on fire. It's either gonna catch on fire or it's gonna explode on someone's head. That's, that's just my opinion. And since we're talking about Jeffree Star, I have to say that man has a lot of audacity, gall, and mother 
and gumption to comfort anyone over on TikTok about not knowing how to properly open a package or how to see how much product is inside of a package. So you guys might remember, but it was earlier in 2023 or like end of 2022 when Milk Makeup came out with their much smaller contour stick. People could not figure out how to open them. There was a lot of drama surrounding it because they were trying to open it and then it was breaking and a lot of the product was getting wasted. Well, it is the same kind of packaging that came on the new Milk Makeup jelly sticks, which do, Jeffrey did say in his video, they do look like an old push pop, like a ring pop and I agree. But the audacity of Jeffree Star to try to throw shade at people for not knowing how to properly open the product. Okay, so there's a lot of people that somehow didn't have common sense and didn't know how to open these. Clearly, this is a top and you have to make sure the product is all the way down and then you're gonna screw that off. And hi, there's the product. Oh my God. Okay, so let's roll it up all the way. Let's roll it up all the way. How much product is in here? Okay, so that is it. When just in January, I think it was like around January 16th, Jeffrey uploaded a video about the Fenty tent stick. And in that video, he rolled the Fenty stick all the way up so people could see how much product was in it. And people were not having it. They were like, there is not that much product in that for the price point. Well, it turns out that Jeffrey just didn't know how to use the product as well, because if he would have just continued to keep twisting, he would have got all the product to actually come up out of the component. Instead, he took scissors, cut it off, and told everyone that they need to take something and like dig down in there to dig all all of the product out. I hear you loud and clear. I saw the thousands of comments. I saw it all. Baby, we need to have a conversation. So when I reviewed Rihanna's new Easy Drop skin tint yesterday, the comments were very loud and clear. You said, Jeffrey, the f Now for $36, you do get 0.32 ounces. When I rolled this up yesterday, a lot of you were shook. Now, let me say one thing. As the queen of makeup, queen of all things beauty, did y'all not notice? Look, let me show y'all up close. Do you see how much extra product is in there? Now I'm with you. I love being brutally honest. That's what I'm known for. When I rolled this up, the reason why I wasn't disgusted was, first of all, when this is really low, it's gonna take a minute to get this down. Like you're gonna have to really go in for several times, right, to get this down okay let's do a little experiment let's just say you used all of this and it was your favorite foundation have you guys seen how much product is underneath it's actually a hidden gem all right we're gonna do a live experiment you guys ready we're gonna cut this off right now Ooh. <laughs> okay so after you use the top there's a whole layer ready for it a whole layer of makeup look at how much product is underneath now most beauty gurus have an amazing, sterile, beautiful silver platter in front of them. I'm using a Chanel box right now. How about that? Okay, look, I'm still digging. So for some reason, I think the packaging is flawed. This should have rolled up way more. Look at how much product is still in there. All right, so when you scrape out everything, I mean, there's still so much more. There is about twice as much product. Literally, what the f Final thoughts on Miss Easy Drop Fenty Beauty. I don't think it was a packaging error. I think that this is supposed to be an airtight formula. I'm seeing a lot of people when they push it back down, they recommend putting this back on so the product does not dry. So I'm not making excuses for them, but we found the mystery. Moral of the story is I would never steer you guys wrong ever. And for $36, I'm glad there's way more product in here because so here's my question because here's the conversation that's going on over on TikTok. After Jeffrey did that Fenty video, a lot of people started stitching it and they're like, uh, let me show you how to actually use it. I think Fenty actually responded to it as well. And they just continued twisting and they showed that you could get all the rest of the product. I'm talking about thousands upon thousands of stitches of people like correctly showing how to open up this product. There are some people out there that are floating around the idea that Jeffrey knew exactly what he was doing and he was just trying to have a viral moment like Glamzilla because Glamzilla's new thing on TikTok is, oh, we broke the internet, we broke the beauty community once again, except for Glamzilla, it's just like a bunch of people getting upset with her and calling her out for <laughs> different things. So if that's her way of breaking the beauty community, I guess, okay. And since we're talking about Glamzilla, I came across this TikTok from her the other day where she was holding up a few of Jaclyn Hill's Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. Not the original ones, not the ones with all the controversy. I'm talking about the ones that people kind of did like, like the liquid lipsticks. And all shade aside, I know that Jaclyn Hill has a very problematic past and a lot of people hate her. A lot of people very much so dislike her and my opinion for some things, rightfully so. But when it came to her makeup line, there were a lot of people out there that really did like some of her products. Those highlighters from 2019 that she like, in my opinion, redeemed herself with from the lipsticks, those were 
great people loved those and throughout the years up until her brand actually closed there were some actual hit products for her well this is how glamzilla gets brought into this she was holding up a few of jaclyn hill's liquid lipsticks saying that these are her favorites oh my god how is she gonna like live without them they are so amazing it sucks that jaclyn cosmetics is closing down all this kinds of you know just totally blowing smoke up jaclyn hill's and one thing that we've like clocked before on this channel is that a lot of influencers when jaclyn cosmetics was around they were not with it in the sense of sitting down to do a full review and putting the brand on for all of their subscribers which honestly the only one that you really saw doing that was jeffree star remember and he gave her like a shout out towards the end of jacqueline cosmetics and he was wearing the one earring saying that he used to be the queen of wearing one earring so so many people are asking about where it's from and it's from jacqueline roxanne well glamzilla was kind of throwing shade at jacqueline in a playful way of course about how this is why they can't have nice things oh my god it sucks that the brand is going out of business and here's my thing with this like, as I said, you didn't see a lot of people throwing support for Jaclyn Cosmetics when it was still around. And this kind of involves Glamzilla. The last video that I saw from Glamzilla on Jaclyn Cosmetics on TikTok was from 2022. Jaclyn didn't announce that her brand was closing until like, what, a few months ago? And I think it actually closed down like a month ago. But as I was sitting there watching Glamzilla like gush over these Jaclyn Hill lipsticks, I was thinking to myself like, well, if that's the case and you loved them so much why since 2022 did you not give any love or any kind of shout out to Jaclyn Cosmetics it's just a little weird to me that she would be so obsessed with these lipsticks but she wasn't sitting there talking about them on TikTok up until the business damn closed but it also made me think of how Glamzilla said that she broke the internet when she made that TikTok saying that she wanted to review the Jeffree Star products she wanted to review the James Charles brand actually what she said about the James Charles brand is that she should review it because what if this is the product that no one's gonna be able to ever mess with James Charles on anything anymore as like a redemption? Girl, if you think a makeup product is gonna give James Charles redemption from the things that he's admitted to, the people that he's called victims and all of that, girl, you are f***ing delusional. So with all that said, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please leave a lipstick emoji down below if you have made it this far in this video, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.